Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy! Your boy! Today, we're gonna be doing a What's in My Take Bag video. And if it is your first time on the channel, prove it by pressing that red button down there. Yeah, don't worry what it says, just press it. It's, it's red. You, you can't miss it. I will not lie, the money serving as my motivation. Think of a stallion in a couple that's a cool relation. They see my presence in the game, it's like a fumigation. And when they pump and wide, sell it's like intimidation. So, if you've heard about the Bobby anti theft backpack, you should know that it was a huge craze at some time. But uh, due to like import problems and all that stuff about them not delivering to South Africa, you know, I ended up having to buy it, but not really it. This is the Volcano anti theft backpack. Obviously, you can tell it's, re it's remodeled after the Bobby backpack. Some would say it's a ripoff. But either way, it's, it's the bag that I wanted at the time. Hey man, so I got it for a cheaper price with no uh, import cost and all that. So, a bag is a bag, fam. So, getting into the bag itself, uh, it's a sleek design. Uh, it has waterproofing right here. So, if you have to spill water on it, it's just trickle all the way off and then you just wipe it, bam bag is dry again same thing over here it's almost like they added wax to it i don't know for some reason um this is what it looks like from the back uh when you look at the bag from the front you'll notice that there's no zip in front because you know the bag's marketing team was all about like all the anti-theft things like oh when you're standing with your bag in a train station nobody can just walk up to your bag and like unzip it steal your stuff because guess what the zip is all the way behind right here that's where the zip is. But, but before we get into the bag, actually, let me just go through the upsides. The straps, uh, they have uh, a secret compartment. Each side has one. Uh, so yeah, you get two uh, secret compartments right... Oh, sorry. <laughs> you get two secret compartments right there to like maybe slide in like, you know, 10 Rand note, whatever. Maybe you're, you're using like a how three, you know, whatever. And then you just slip the card in there so that, you know, it's easy access. Instead of like taking your wallet out, doing whatever, you just put it in here. And then when you get to the train, bam, swipe, put it back in. You're good. Uh, so that's the convenience of that uh, zipper. Uh, then you'll notice there's like two more zippers on each side, like this side and that side. Um, and then there's like a USB port right here. So inside the bag, there's actually like a compartment where you can put like a power bank. And then you connect the power bank to that cable, which connects to this. And then you can just connect your phone from here to charge it. I'll show you that when I get inside the bag. And then there's another zip uh, right here. Obviously, and then there's like one of those holder things when you want to put your bag on a briefcase so that it doesn't lose like stability and whatever. Um, so let's starting from the this pocket right here. Uh, I, I usually just keep all my cables here like... Uh, to transfer files because my laptop doesn't really have like a SD uh, slot so I carry around a USB cable um, it's a micro not a micro actually this is just a mini USB cable uh, but it's long because you know you never know uh, like the desk setup maybe I have to put my camera all the way there so I, I opt for a long cable and then this is just another one of my hard drive cables uh, also I usually put my uh, phone charger in here um, because you know it's quite small and everything and then all my cables are like in this little compartment here uh, the reason why I don't pack a lot of things in here because it's, this part is usually on my lower back so the the smaller I keep this compartment the better it is for my bag because I don't want things throbbing into my bag so I just usually just keep cables in this area right here then the left side uh, pocket uh, I usually keep um, here we go ah my earphones when i'm not carrying headphones i keep my earphones on in my bag um i also carry around uh, a gopro i think this is the hero 3 yeah it's a hero 3 it's a gopro hero 3 um i was actually given this camera by uh, a residence that i used to play basketball for in uh varsity um yeah the, the media marketing team um decided like since nobody's really using it and I was one of those guys that's always shooting things that, you know, maybe I deserve it or whatever, just take it home, you know. Uh, so, yeah, uh, thank you to those guys. Um, so, yeah, now I have a GoPro Hero 3, which I shoot with every now and then. I also usually keep, like, 
my USBs in here, like flash drives and all that. I usually keep those as well. That's not mine, it's just like somebody gave it to me because I had to edit something for them. Um, so I keep my USB drives as there as well. Um, and then strepsils. Okay, so the other side, uh, here we go. I keep my passport in here. Bam. Keep my passport in this side because you know, I, I don't want it like moving around too much. Cause it's, it, at the end of the day, it's it's a book, it's paper. So, and then I also keep like uh, my gloves in in this also in this compartment. Cause you know, you never know. Cold days, bam. So we do. So going into the main compartment, uh, the zipper. What I told you, uh, it's, it's at the back. And uh, one uh, nice thing about this bag is that um, it doesn't just. The zippers don't just stop here so that you can like have to reach in and all that they actually go like way way down to like the bottom of the bag like you see like down there this is where the zipper ends so that you can like essentially tear away uh, the sides of this because the the velcro uh, you just take out that and then you bam and then your bag becomes open open you know what i mean uh and then yeah everything is stored in there uh stuff like that so uh getting into the main compartments of my bag uh one thing is you guys should also know is that i usually use this bag for two different reasons it's mostly it's it's tech and then sometimes like uh for camera like shoot days and stuff so i, I would um substitute some of these things for like camera things and sometimes it's just just all my tech things you know what i mean um, so obviously uh, I, I, my laptop is not here because I'm currently using it uh, for other stuff um, But yeah, I would usually put my laptop in here This compartment can actually fit in like up to like a 15 inches, which is what I have a 15 inch laptop uh, I don't have a tablet currently, but when I have when I use this uh, bag for like camera shoot whatever activity things um, I usually just put in my camera charger in here with the cable so I would usually just uh, do this and then the camera cable would come in right here and then you see it doesn't really disrupt the rest of the bag it's just that I haven't packed it nicely just now but it, everything would like be just slim upwards like and then that's that and then you know that's why I keep my uh, battery charger but I mean if I had like a, a tablet obviously I would put it there and then obviously main compartment i would usually have like my uh, laptop charger also just at the bottom right here um but then everything else that i also put in is usually like uh extra battery charger uh it's just to charge my rechargeable batteries uh because uh this in, in here is uh my lab mic from boya let me see and here are my rechargeable batteries um this is the lab mic system that i use uh, for some videos like interviews and then these are my rechargeable batteries so I, w I would usually just that's how it is bam you charge them and then you put them in the thing because my battery my uh, life system uses like double A batteries but since I don't want to lose I don't like it when my batteries are just running loose in the bag I just keep them with uh, the lab mic system so first compartment up here is I have my notebook. Uh, just write a ton of notes. These are the type of things like it's just and and, and then this amount of just writing stuff. Um, but obviously I've moved to like uh, doing all my things digitally now. Like I use Google Keep to write my notes and then Google Tasks to like. Uh, knock out all the stuff that I need still need to do. So essentially I'm moving away from this notebook But sometimes it comes in handy to just have something like on hand, you know what I mean? So I have my notebook and then I have my first power bank uh, This one uh, my mother bought it in Dubai uh, Because she wa she actually bought it for my little sister because she, because she thought her phone could like wirelessly charge on this but yeah, you know, iPhones, um, you know, they, they catch on late. So obviously I had to like take over because I still use uh, an LG G6. Uh, so I can technically use this uh, for wireless charging. 
It's an 8,000 milliamp uh, power bank, so it charges my phone uh, like twice. But the problem is it's not fast charge enabled, so it's a bit slow, but I mean, it's capacity. it has capacity on it. So I charge my phone two, two to three times with this. Works perfectly just fine. And then in my zipper right here, uh, I usually keep my pen. Like I, you'd think, why don't you just put your pen here? But um, I don't know, man. I just I just like having my pen somewhere safe. You know, it's some plus people who are that open my bag usually like they want pens and then they start writing with it and then you know pens get lost all of a sudden. I also keep um, other memory cards and my adapters in here. Um, so extra memory cards and adapters also go into this pouch right here And then obviously here I have a marker just in case uh, you gotta write something huge uh, Whatever and I also have my lens cleaning pen uh, For the lens and then I just close this part off and then bam here's a, a Dust thing, you know just remove dust and then Essential right there to keep your equipment clean Coming down to these last three things right here uh, Like I said this uh, I think it's actually a what is meant for a water bottle uh, Like I said in both in two of my instances like if I'm shooting I usually keep like my lens here Because uh, I mean it's a nice fit. So why wouldn't that I usually keep a lens here But if I'm not actually shooting I'd actually put my mouse in this compartment right here with obviously with this cable because it's the wide mouse uh, and then that also fits like really nicely in that little compartment right here um, and then on this side I keep both my external hard drives um, with one cable for easy access the shortest cable that I have they're both uh, they're both uh, WD elements uh, uh, one is two terabytes and one is one terabyte um, obviously the one keeps all my backup footage and then the one terabyte is where I leave all my assets and stuff like currently projects that I'm working on as well and then on the little pocket right here uh, that's the power bank situation I was telling you guys about so here I would I also have a, another power bank this one is a 6,000 milliamp one it's a very small one um, as you can see the, the bag came with this USB right here so you would put this USB into this power bank like this and then obviously throw it into this little pocket right here and then obviously when you're ready to charge your phone like obviously I'll put that away nicely and then like I said I would take my phone charger out from this pocket right here so for the sake of a demonstration let's just say it's this one I'll take my phone charger out and then I would just plug it in to this little Thing right here this USB port right here like so okay now that I I can't reach anyway I would put it in to this USB port like that and then my charger would just be hanging and then when I'm walking obviously my charger would just be out here so I can just hold my phone while it's charging from underneath my right armpit if you get what I mean so that's the ease of that and uh, I, I quite like that feature but I, I hardly use it you know because I'm so used to just uh, taking out this power bank right here uh, and then just, you know, slapping my phone on it and then let it charge. That's about it for what's in my uh, tech bag. Like I said, uh, it's technically it's a, a Bobby anti-theft backpack, but due to like all the supply, whatever with south africa and, and whatever who makes it they were like no we can't uh import this to the country whatever whatever that was then so i had to buy an, an alternative and since volcano was the only company at the time that made it i decided you know what let me just buy this rip off but technically it's still a good quality bag even though i'm, I'm actually looking into buying a, like uh, a new one uh, specifically more of a camera backpack because you know now I can actually just want to carry everything in one bag you know I want to have all my camera gear in one and then also all my tech stuff so that there's no more hassle of like taking out uh, like for instance my lens just to put my mouse in there like I, I would have a section for my lens and a section for my mouse 
But yeah, that's that's about it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, if you dislike this video, tell me why in the comments, and I'll check you in the next one. Take it.